I'm going to read maybe just one poem. It's called Genius Loci, um, which means the spirit of the place. And um, that particular place in this poem is Oakland, where I lived for many years. <clears throat> Genius Loci. Make it the place it was then, so full it split, vision to live there in winter, so late and wet, abundance toppled toward awful birds of paradise, a profusion, the ripe colors of anodized metal in gutters, umbrellas smashed like pigeons, bent ribs bright among black slack fluttering, Camellia's pink imagos dropping into water and rotting, sweet stink, and did not stop. The inundated eye over populous urban eye, the whole place to look at it was a footprint in January. Everywhere, cloudy water rising to fill in the outlines. And meanwhile, indoors differed by degree alone, without love loosed from God. There were lovers and touch rushing in to redraw your boundaries constantly because it was a tune you kept getting wrong, the refrain of what it meant to live alone, months of that, and then Sudden summer, sheer release, streets all cigarettes and sachet, balls out tube tops, low riders and belly fat, the girls on the block all like, oh no, she didn't, and girl, she did. She was mad skills with press-ons and a cell phone telling him where to stick it, a kid on her hip, just like that summer, sheer beauty and lip gloss that smelled like peaches and you going to the store for whiskey and condoms like everyone else on a hot, long afternoon, so long and hot, it would just be sunburn to walk anywhere if it weren't also a pleasure. Thoughtless and shiftless and horny and drunk, just someone thinking summer wasn't up to anything deep and low. There he was, his punk ass pink as a Viking in a tight wife beater and lingering by the public pool, drinking beer so sly it didn't look illegal. And he wasn't a good idea, but did you have a light? And it seemed the whole summer went like that, taking fire out of your pocket and giving it away, a ditty you could whistle, it was so cliche, like the numbers they gave you after and you never called, the number of swollen nodes of the kissing colds you got, and later the number to call to get tested, the number of the bus to the clinic, the number they gave you when they asked you to wait, the number of questions asked, number of partners, number of risks, number of previous tests, the number of pricks, one to draw the blood, the number of minutes you waited before results, and then you decided you had to get the tune right the how to live it so it doesn't kill you, to take a number and wait in the long line of the city's bankrupt humanism like the bus that never comes, no matter how long you wait, and the grocery, grocery bag breaking. And if you were going to sing that one, the one that sounds like all I got is bruised tomatoes, broken glass, and dirty bread, and no one waiting at home, would you start with genius, as in the spirit of a place, and small, as in, of the back, wet in heat, and the urge to touch him there, skin just visible between his jeans and t-shirt, to see if he's sweating, to see if he feels what you feel, and if he does, is that all the spirit the place will give? A small thing shared, just a phrase, not a whole song, but something to build on. And if it isn't bread, and if it sure ain't tomatoes, it isn't empty, is it? Like the signage you walk by that fronts the lakeside church of practical Christianity, hawking a knowledge of God so modest it seems trivial. And it isn't ever, is it, the how to live it so it doesn't kill you, the where to touch it, the when will genius sing your name so it sounds like a place you can live. Thank you.